Now that we have our prompt in Word, let's type our response. I will look at my handout and type my response. When I am typing, I need to remember to use capital letters and spacing rules. Capital I. I have a space between each word. One space after a comma. This is one word so I will not put space after the hyphens. One space after my period, capital S for a new sentence. Now I need to edit. I'm going to make the font larger so that I can see it more clearly. First, I will use spell check to check my spelling. I see some words underlined in red. Those are spelling errors. I am putting my hand on my mouse and putting the pointer on top of the underlined word. I will right click with my middle finger. I am looking at the list of words spelled correctly. Replace, replies, replaced, replaces. I will click this word because I think it is correct. I think replace is spelled with a C, not an S. Let me read the sentence again to make sure. Social media will not replace this. Yes, that sounds right. Here is another red underline. I will right click on it. There are no spelling suggestions. I see the problem. I need a space after the comma. There is one space after a comma. There. That fixed the problem. Now I have some green underlined words. Those are probably spacing problems. I will look at the first one. I'm going to push the show hide button so that I can see the spacing. Here, I have too many spaces between the words. There is only one space between words.
again, I have too many spaces here. There is only one space after a period. The word is still underlined. Why? Oh yeah, I need a capital letter at the beginning of the sentence. I will make the F a capital letter. There, that's better. One more. What's wrong? Oh, I have a space before the period. I should not have any spaces before periods. There. Now there are no more red or green underlined words. I'm going to read aloud one more time to double check. I think that people will continue to have face-to-face -face conversations in the future because people will always celebrate holidays and special occasions together. Hmm, holidays has a capital H, but it's not a proper noun like Thanksgiving or Christmas. I think it should just be a small H. For example, people will always birthday parties, weddings, and family get-togethers. Hmm, wait. Something doesn't sound right. People will always birthday parties? People will always have birthday parties, weddings, and family get-togethers. That sounds better. So, they will have face-to-face -face conversations during those times. Social media will not replace this. Great! I think I'm ready to post my response now.